guys. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing that's going to be really exciting. I have wanted to get a pair of these little babies forever. I'm going to actually let Jessica do it because it's up her alley. I'm just going to go ahead and do the, the dangerous part, right? It's like because I should have a knife. <laughs> I right? know you're yeah. like slicing it. <laughs> it is all you from here. Awesome. So I actually talked to Jessica before. Oh, she did the throw. Oh, she knows how to do it. I talked to Jessica before I bought these because I knew she really wanted them. Oh my goodness. They are so freaking adorable. That's the one I was excited about. Oh my God, look oh at that Oh my God. So these are Euro Planties from Briadis. We have the big girl named Wanda, but we wanted to get a pair of little ones so that hopefully one day we can breed them, number one. And number two, we can have some that could go over to the Reptarium on the other side as well. So it's so cool, but wow. That one's got an amazing, like I love the black, oh. like dark black on it. So it's cool. crazy how cool these things are. I have a question. Do they go through like a color change? Because obviously this is not what our big female looks like. Yeah, as they go or get older, they're going to change quite a bit more wow. gray. I think this one's going to look more like Wanda. That, that one's going to look really cool, I think. Yeah. It'll keep that black and stuff, the dark black on its face and eyes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really cool. It's awesome. So there Yay. it is. Uh, it's always good to start the day with an unboxing with some cool new animals for the Reptarium. Glad you're happy. Thank you. <laughs> it's awesome. Jessica's actually going to set these guys up here in a little bit, but first she has another surprise for us. Take a look at this, guys. This is beautiful. You know, I always love when you guys send me things. But when it's handmade, it's actually even more special. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at all the colors in here. Wow. What is the deal with this? This is absolutely incredible. We've got a big nose here. And we have this. Brian Strong, the Reptarium from Tristan, 13 year olds, and the Hiller family. Thank you so much. Let's uh, go ahead and get into this and see what we have going on. I said, this is absolutely beautiful. Did you see this one? Well, I didn't get to see the whole thing. Obviously, I peeked through the window. It's beautiful. You know, families followed you on social media for over three years. Yeah videos are education and uplifting we appreciate you and then they made this blanket to symbolize animals here so okay th this is super super cool sunrise which is the top of the blanket the pale yellow and cream color to kind of show uh, sunrise that is such a great idea and obviously sunrise is so special to me right it's kind of the symbolic thing of the albino burmese python that really started bhb reptiles journey to where we've come all this way and ever since i started with my first albino burmese python i've never been without albino burmese at some point in my career the sunrise obviously is so incredible to me. She's about five years old right now. So she's just really getting to that size where she's getting really impressive. So we're here in the new Caldonia room and we've got this little guy starting to hatch. You can come out. But this isn't our actual surprise. I got something <laughs> super cool that hatched out today. And a first for us here at the Reptarium and BHB. It's a lily white. So this one here is gonna be a head. I think it'll end up being like a red phantom. We'll have to see though. And then hopefully this ends up being a red lily white. What's a red lily white? So it'd be like, a, have color? you ever seen a red harlequin? Yeah. It looks like a red harlequin, just more like white on the dorsal and white on the sides. What? So it'll be really cool. Uh, it might end up looking like dad though, where it's just like a normal lily. But either way, it'll be super awesome. So one of these two girls here is the mom. They're not fired up right now, so they don't look super red, but they are red harlequins. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the dad. He's spunky. <laughs> He is, he likes to jump. He doesn't actually have a name, but isn't he beautiful? Then we have actually Ivy, the second animal, which has the black rose and stitches, which is this right here, really beautiful. My girl Ivy, I mean, we all know how special she is to me. I don't know, there's just always been something about anaconda. I've just always been just absolutely fascinated. And to actually own an anaconda like Ivy, and of course, Ariana and Verde as well. And of course, the two new babies that we're keeping from Ivy, they're all so special and they're all such amazing animals. I love the fact that we have a blanket that has uh, such special animals for me. Then we have Flaming Hot Cheeto. Yeah, that was an easy one. <laughs> that's, that, that's for sure. Of course, Flaming Hot. You know, super special animal to me because it was the first bearded dragon that we actually got for the Reptarium. So he's been here ever since we've opened up and he's just been a big part of it, right? Like people have just been loving him forever. He's a great ambassador and he's just super special to me. So this is the cage we're gonna go ahead and put these uh, little Embryatas in. We had a Chihua in here. I'm gonna move him up to the next size cage, probably over there. Yeah, this one's pretty much ready to go. I kind of like did a little bit of cleaning in here, but there's ice pods and everything in there that keep it pretty clean. So we're not gonna do too much. I am gonna sniff this back a little bit because it's growing a little bit too tall a lemon lime philodendron and it likes to climb as you can see it's like trying to climb around this cage like got aerial roots that are attached to everything and it's not wanting to come out of here but basically to grow this i'm just gonna chop in between all the nodes or the leaves so the node is actually this little point right here and it's usually on the other side of a leaf that'll grow back in and probably some of the other vines in here will grow in and fill in that space go ahead and missed it before we put them in i just, just love this thing jess 
awesome. Has your life been like 10 times better since getting it's, that? It is. It's so much nicer. It definitely cuts like an hour or two off of my time. That's huge. Great. That's a huge thing in our lives where like every minute counts because we have so much going mm. on, you know? Wow, fancy. Obviously, uh, Elvis the water monitor. Look at my bestiary here. Elvis, what are you doing, buddy? Oh my gosh, Elvis is so amazing. I mean, look at this amazing animal here. And again, that's an animal that was a dream animal of mine. I can't believe that we actually have such an amazing ambassador like this. He's just like a dinosaur puppy dog. Brillo. Okay, this is, cool. Yeah, so this is Brillo <laughs> right here. Then there's my guy Brillo here. Look at this monkey right here. No doubt a great addition to the Reptarium. But he's a little feisty this morning. He's like, I'm gonna grab everything. Leave me alone. And that's the thing. He occasionally gets a little bit crazy on us now. And he goes like, kind of wild. Look at him, he's definitely wild this morning. There's no doubt about that. But what a cool animal. Hieroplatus in general are a little bit more fragile and uh, sensitive than like the new cows in here. So I don't want to spray them directly and stress them out, especially after we just shipped them. Misted, it's pretty good to go. Um, let's go ahead and put them in there. And then later tonight before I leave, I'm probably going to throw in some little crickets with them. And this one, I think is fired down a little bit since we unpacked it. It's got a lot more like white markings coming out on it, which is pretty Cool. These guys are obviously going to need some names, uh, so why don't you drop your ideas down in the comments? Awesome! <laughs> One of my favorite species. I'm so glad to add some more to our collection. Next on the list is Satanic Leaf Tail. Then we have Salt and Pepper. Okay. Of course, we've got Salt and Pepper here. Then, of course, there's Salt and Pepper. I mean, you know, they're iconic. I mean, just that beautiful albino and melanistic animal together. Definitely love the fact that they represented so many of the animals that are so special to us here at the Reptarium. Frizzle of all needs a lot of work and we're slowly working on it. We redid these two cages last week. This week, me and Maria are gonna work on these two cages. So one's gonna be for our bird eater, and this one's gonna be for the cobalt blue. We're just adding some new substrate, some sticks, some pretty cool plants that Jessica got to propagate, and we're gonna be throwing those tarantulas back into their new homes. Right here. Then of course there's Reptar the lychee gecko. This I mean, guy is just so incredible. And again, it's a great learning animal. You, know, you can always talk about what? It's the largest gecko in the world. Not to mention just an amazing animal. Did you hear those frogs? That was absolutely incredible. And actually, weirdly enough, this guy makes a noise almost exactly like that. So just very unique, cool, cool lizards. And we actually have Bugatti. This is a oh, great example yeah. of Bugatti right here. Bugatti the Bolins python. I mean, come on, iconic animal. Definitely happy. I mean, you did so good choosing what animals to actually represent on this blanket because it is amazing. And there's no doubt that Bugatti is right up there with one of the coolest animals I've ever had. really great. Time to put the spiders back in. Very excited. Let's we'll move Beauty up. See how she acts today because I know she is a little bit wonky sometimes. Come here. Perfect. So we're hoping by moving her into like a larger enclosure, she's gonna calm down a bit. She used to be our main tarantula that we would pull out for people. But lately she's not been having it. So right she's back, right back to her hide. She's like, oh, perfect. And I'll give her some fresh water too. Then we have potato, potato. I love this. <laughs> the trailer blue tongue skink is really cool. Of course, potato. I mean, it's again, it's just such a cool animal. There's not many Centralian blue tongue skinks in the country, which makes him so unique. And I'm so happy that we have him. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get a female and maybe breed him in the future. That would be an absolute dream. But in the meantime, he's just a great animal ambassador. Been here since day one. We opened up, as a matter of fact, he was the first escapee we ever had at the Reptarium. The second day that we were open at the Reptarium, he actually pushed out of his cage and he was out for like 11 hours. He's just a cheeky monkey. Then we have Ben and Jerry, which yeah. of course is here, which makes complete sense. And then there's Ben and Jerry. I mean, how iconic does a two-headed snake have to be, right? I mean, this is just such an amazing animal. Love him to death. Brings so many people in. So many people are curious about the two-headed snake. How is it possible? All those other things. So the polycephaly or the two-headed snake is absolutely amazing. Glad that it's represented on this blanket. We're moving the green bottle blue yes. back into here so people can actually see it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and it makes like a really cool like tunnel 
tunnel web. I'm excited for her little construction work. We know how this one is, like, temperament-wise. Honestly, I would proceed with caution. It is hiding back that I need to of these. So I'm gonna be tearing its home apart. It's probably not gonna be very happy with me. It's so pretty. It's not much of a trick. She's just flanking. That was so fast. Get all this stuff out of the way. Look at all this webbage. Oh, she's kicking hairs at me. Come on. You wanna go in the bucket, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> I like where you're standing, Maria. This is a good spot. It looks way better over here. So you can see too, she's like at the bottom of the bucket. She's so mad at us. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. A little bit of a stressful experience, but I think she'll calm down and we're gonna leave her alone. She's not one that we pull out or anything, no, so I she's just one of our displays, so awesome. And then finally we've got Perdita. You know, I think Perdita was like the first snake that I got that was like almost crazy at the Reptarium, right? The cover take laid pythons were produced by Kevin McCurley over at NERD many years ago, and I remember seeing them. They're born pure white, and then they get all these freckles, and I remember going to NERD when he had the first cow articulated pythons, and they were like, you know, maybe a year old at that point, and they had just enough black that was really crazy, and I remember thinking like, I've got to one day have one of these, and of course when we opened up the Reptarium, we got Perdita, and she really was one of those like marquee animals from the day that we opened up, and she still is absolutely one of the most spectacular animals I've ever worked with. Absolutely incredible. I tell you what guys, this is, this is uh, thank you guys, this is uh, absolutely wonderful. I mean, what a great handmade gift that has such symbolism that means so much to me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.